Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. Every week I do six shorts that appear here on the channel and also on Instagram. This week, because I've been listening to iNaudi and a few of the Scandinavian emotional instrumental composers, I've decided to focus on simple chord progressions with semi-classical instrumental forms. There's this style of piano playing right now that is very evocative, and I think it's interesting. It's not terribly complicated, although it has a technical component. We've got six short pieces that'll get you going on it. That's an F major 9 chord. And then this inversion, the F6, gives way to F minor 6. Look at the A flat in the right hand. Resolves to C, of course. Now, sometimes just the simplest things are best, so simple pattern. This is very much like Inaudi's music, where familiar chords and compelling instrumental form combine to make a beautiful sound. That's G major, and then C major, and then an A minor triad, but it kind of feels like D7, and it resolves to G. Like the previous short, this is an instrumental form of harmony that reminds me a lot of that i naudi sound, where a moving arpeggio with a little turn in it, a little half step in it, gives you this gorgeous effect. That's A minor, and then F, which gives way to C, and E minor. There's a style now of basically pop chord progressions being handled with classical instrumental forms to create beautiful piano textures. The simple chord progression, D, A, B minor, and then a descending G. My right hand comes in over the top, and I'm alternating every note with an E in the middle. And it goes with all the chords, listen. The right hand's just playing an E between every left hand note. And it doesn't have to be an E. There's one more available tone up above the B. Now for fun, let's alternate between the two, B and down to the E. That's a C minor chord, but the pattern is middle, high, low, high. C, A flat, E flat, B flat major is the axis chords. Let's put a little melody on the top. 
just kind of outlining the chord. These are the triads of G, Dorian minor. And if I want to do a little interlocking hands exercise, I'll let the left hand play the first chord and then the right hand play the second and then alternate between the two. Now it's time to move up a step. The left hand gets the A triad, the right hand gets the B flat. I proceed all the way up the scale doing that. My hands are getting used to being in the scale, the challenges of the black keys. Try to stay relaxed. Once you get good at that, you can create patterns in each hand. One hand has one triad, the other hand has the other triad. Well, I hope that was useful. Like and subscribe, ding the bell, you'll be notified when I do my videos, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.